Good morning. It's the bottom of the hour. I'm Alex Backus. I'm Joey Horta. The results are in now. We know who's going to the general election in the fight to be the next governor of California. Let's go to the numbers. It's going down, going to be a showdown here between a Democrat and a Republican. Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom squaring off against businessman John Cox. They are the top two vote getters. Our Teresa Sardina is following this race for us this morning. She's live in downtown Fresno. Teresa, good morning. Good morning, Alex and Joey. Well, Gavin Newsom was projected to be the first place finisher in the California's gubernatorial primary, and he offered a defense of progressive Californian values, including diversity and treatment of migrant children and regulation of weapons. He says the fall election will be an epic battle for California's future. We're engaged in an epic battle, and it looks like voters will have a real choice this November between a governor who's going to stand up to Donald Trump and a foot soldier in his war on California. Heading into the fall, Newsom enjoys the backing of a massive voter registration advantage for Democrats in California over Republicans. And on the other side of the aisle, Republican candidate John Cox, who was endorsed by Trump, came in a strong second place and will be facing Newsom one-on-one -on -one in November. Mr. Newsom made it clear that he wanted to, to run against me instead of another Democrat. Well, as I told him in San Jose at the debate, be careful, Mr. Newsom, be careful what you wish for. Yeah! He says his business expertise will help cut taxes and revive California's economy. Well, that is the latest with the governor's race. I'll send it back to you guys. I'm Teresa Sardina reporting live in downtown Fresno, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.